Well, I've got some decent looking roses in my yard, but of course there's always room for improvement. So this morning, Phyllis Stevens is telling us how to get the best flowers possible in great gardens. The rose garden is absolutely gorgeous right now. I hope yours is just as beautiful. And I'm standing next to this rose. Isn't this exquisite? It's almost brown. It's called hot cocoa. Or this is sun sprite. Now most of these flowers are finally starting to go away, but there's lots of buds on this. Isn't this the brightest of yellows? Even Disneyland. I just, oh, I just love all the roses. But there are a lot of problems that happen during the summer too. I was looking at this gorgeous rose and look at these tags leaves. This is because of an insect called a rose weevil. It's a pretty little insect, but boy, they can sure cause problems. Even look at here, we've got a hole right in the middle of this beautiful bud that's coming out, lousy little critters. Something that I've noticed too this year, oh, I shouldn't say I've noticed because this particular rose is so prone to it. This is a black spot on roses. Oh, isn't that just ugly? This particular rose is so prone to it, but I just can't get rid of it. So what I'll do is come in and strip all these leaves off right now. The other thing I haven't seen is any pottery mildew this year. Oh, lucky me. There's still time for some pottery mildew. But the main thing with roses is you're coming through on your roses is you don't have to clip them all the way back and count all the leaves and everything. If you don't have time, let's go over here to this yellow Sprite. If you don't have time, you just simply grab it underneath your hands like this and pop it off. And that's all you need to do. Come back a little bit later and do the fine pruning on them. Take a look at your roses. Just because they're beautiful, there may be some problems that we need to get in there and fix. I'm Phyllis Stevens, and that's our great garden tip.